So we decided uh, to listen to them so that we can agree how to, to, uh, to, to legalize them to, so that they can operate freely without being harassed uh, with the council. It was this statement by the mayor of Nairobi, empathizing with the plight of commercial sex workers, that has got the good mayor in a fix. He wanted Nairobi's bylaws changed to allow commercial sex workers to operate in a regulated regime. But in a swift rejoinder, Nairobi Metropolitan Minister Njeru Gidai has rubbished the idea, saying it was unethical, just as it was an African. Our constitution is very clear, and I would like to advise the mayor and the town clerk and the officials that prostitution is illegal in this country. Speaking in Kutu's town in Kirinyaga County, moments after opening a PNU Alliance seminar, Gidai noted that the very idea was obnoxious and especially the suggestion that commercial sex workers could be subjected to taxation, just like ordinary businesses. If it comes even to my ministry, we will not approve taxation of uh, prostitutes. It's an illegal activity. It is uh, prohibited by law. So you cannot tax an illegal Activity. Fortunately for Aladua, town clerk Philip Kesia has come to his defense, saying, I quote, His worship the mayor is a strong, committed Christian. He was misquoted and completely misunderstood. End of quote. In a dispatch to newsrooms, Aladua says his statement on legalizing prostitution was just a proposal in response to demands by the call girls and that he was airing his views and the matter was subject to debate by the public. Commercial sex work is currently illegal in Kenya and those found practicing it on the streets, especially women, are often arrested and arraigned in court. Nancy Onyancha, Citizen Weekend.